and we're back and this is a video comparison between two of the top true wireless earbuds for sound quality this is the sony wf 1000 xm3 versus the anchor sound core liberty 2 pro so here we have it the best of the best for sound quality let's get into the sony wf 1000 xm3s these true wireless earbuds has been a really pleasant surprise not only for the nfc for the bluetooth pairing but for this nice charging case that can give your earbuds three charges the earbuds charges up by usb type c it comes in this black and gold casing that is very good when you put the earbuds in you get it right every time and they don't fall out very good charging case now as per the anchor sound core this charging case is a very elegant charging case so even though it's wide and it's a little bit fat these can still fit in the small pocket of your jeans this true wireless earbud charging case can give the earbuds four charges so the m3s can give your earbuds three charges these can give you four plus this charging case got wireless charging so not only you're able to get type c for charging with fast charging you're getting wireless charging to boot when you take the earbuds out no problem and when you put them in no problem as well and they don't fall out when it comes to the build quality and the cases i gotta give it to the sound core liberty 2 pros now when we talk about the build quality of the earbuds let's get into it the sony earbuds have a nice look and a nice fit when you put it in your ears it just snuggles into your ear there is no fin there is no hook but this drum has a rubbery feel and that just kind of keeps it in your ear now even though these earbuds won't be for workouts you can use these for casual use with no problems these earbuds are the type of earbuds where you just want to listen to your tunes while you're working and cut out all the background because these earbuds have a and c now this class leading a and c is definitely going to cut you out from all background sounds where you're just listening to the music and that music is going to sound pure and crisp so overall the fit and the looks of these earbuds is top notch and with this touch capacitive area that works so well you're not going to miss the fact that you don't have buttons now when it comes to the anchor sound core not only you're getting a very nice build these earbuds are a very similar build to the sony m3s but it's coming with an air fin and the air fin is coming in three different sizes so you're definitely going to get these locked into your ears now these earbuds i would say for casual use as well with the sound isolation plus the volume that these earbuds can get to you can definitely cut yourself out from your surrounding area but the problem is there is no a and c so you're dealing with just the sound isolation by the nice lock in that you're getting with these earbuds and to me you're not really going to miss the fact that you don't have a and c with these earbuds so these are a good look good build quality and with the fin you're going to have a better fit so overall the better build quality and fit i gotta give it to the anchor sound core so this takes us into call quality now call quality on both of these earbuds is not fantastic but with the sony's that anc that noise canceling is not transferred to phone calls so the person you're talking to is going to hear all your background the microphones are gonna really pick up the background the microphone picks up your voice you are going to be able to be heard but the interference from the background is going to interrupt the phone call so you better talk in a quiet area with the sound core it's a pretty good phone call that you're going to get your background is going to be heard but it's going to be heard a little bit less you're going to be heard a little bit more there is no sound canceling on the earbuds but there is something going on with a little bit of sound canceling when it comes to phone calls now anchor has really focused on trying to make really clear crystal clear calls and i gotta say they accomplished that so even though it's not the best call quality you're getting it's better than the sony's now this takes us to the touch controls versus the button controls the sony's is coming with a touch capacitive area now according to the way earbuds are being made today 
touch capacitive areas is more a premium feature on earbuds sony is one of the tr true wireless earbud companies that done the touch capacitive area right especially on these when you touch and you want to switch tracks or you want to pause and play you could definitely do that without no issues anchor you would think this is a touch capacitive area but it's not you got buttons and you know buttons works better than a touch capacitive area especially when it's well done the buttons at the top so when you're putting your finger to tap that button it's pretty comfortable you're not jamming the earbuds further in your ears it's a gentle little tap and you get the job done so when you're pausing playing or you're picking up and hang up on calls it's easier to find that spot press that button then fingering around with a touch capacitive area so i gotta say again we gotta give it to anchor sound core for this button it's gonna give a better experience because you got a solid button now this takes us to the part that you guys are more interested in which is the battery life on the earbuds sony with these m3s is giving you on advertised six hours of battery life now with the six hours of battery life that gotta be with 50 percent volume just streaming music in real use my usage you're not going to reach that six hour mark with these earbuds you can get close good five and a half hours just streaming music i would say like 70 80 percent volume but if you're taking phone calls mix usage throughout your day you can get a good five hours of battery life with these earbuds and that is going to equate along with the three charges about 15 or so hours with the charging case sony says 18 hours i say you get 15. now with anchor anchor is giving you definitely two days of battery life with the charging case because you're getting four charges with these earbuds anchor said you're gonna get eight hours of battery life i've reached nine hours of battery life now with mixed usage with high volume you can definitely reach close to that eight hours of battery life that's anchor is talking about so i gotta say battery life is going to be so much more better on the anchor sound core and this leads us into the sound test the sound on both these earbuds are very close but in reality it's all about preference in this area because they both pack in some great sound so let's get into that sound test let's take a listen to the sony's pick up the phone i really need to talk with you because if you're not home i wonder where you slept last night are you seeing someone new behind my back? Kiss another dude for a little romance. Pick up the phone, I really need to understand. Mm -hmm. Never had no trust issues. Never had to break the rules. Always trying to tell the truth. And care about what I say. I've been trying to do my best. And keeping my promises. Never want a second guess, but when it comes to you, I've been feeling hesitant. I've been feeling hesitant. I've been feeling hesitant. Pick up the phone, I really need to talk with you. Cause if you're not home, I wonder where you slept last night mm -hmm. Are you seeing someone new behind my back? Kiss another dude for a little romance Pick up the phone, I really need to understand mm -hmm. Never had no trust issues Never had to break the rules Always trying to tell the truth And care about what I say I've been trying to do my best And keeping my promises Never want a second guess But when it comes to you I've been feeling hesitant
Now, after listening to that sound test, you guys can hear that these earbuds is giving you the best sound on the market. The Sony's is giving you a good hit of bass, very toned back on the mids, but they're giving you a lot of highs. Now, as for the Anchor, they're giving you a slight, very slight bit of more harder hidden bass, a little bit more mids, but a little bit lower on the highs. But which one of these earbuds just sound cleaner and sound better? I got to go with the Sony M3s. The Sony M3s is giving you a much more clearer, accurate sound that you can hear everything in the music. With Anchor, you're getting a lot more powerful bass. You're getting a good sound as well. And you can hear those finer instruments. So overall, which one of these earbuds, I would say, is that much more better? I got to go with this Anchor Soundcore Liberty 2 Pros. They're doing everything right. And along with giving you great sound quality, they're giving you better call quality and that's what edges out over the sony m3s so pretty much with that this is my comparison of the sony m3s versus the liberty 2 pros these are the best two sounding earbuds on the market right now let me know in the comment section if you guys can find one better so with that we'll see you in the next one